my name is Ricky Boscarino. Um, I uh, also go by Ricky of Luna Park. Luna Park is my home, my studio, my property that I've been working on for 27 years. I grew up in a family of artists, artists and artisans dating back several hundred years to the time of the Medici. So we were all basically peasant carpenters. And artisans, artists, great kooky thinkers. So we grew up in a family where everyone was almost expected to be creative in some way. I was always, uh, as a kid, drawing uh, and sketching my dream house. Uh, after um, attending the uh, Rhode Island School of Design. I lived elsewhere, lived in New York City for a while, lived uh, in Italy for a while. It came to pass that uh, I felt like I needed to put down roots somewhere. And um, it took a couple years and I found um, this wonderful piece of property. And as soon as I laid eyes on this house, I knew that this would be the place I'd spend the rest of my life. <laughs> That's now 27 years ago, and it's evolved from that little hunting cabin to, some people refer to it as a mansion. I'm not sure really what the definition of a mansion is, but uh, it's a museum. It's a, I consider it a museum. I refer to it as the Museum of the New Alchemy. My life as an artist is all about objects. It's about creating objects, it's about collecting objects. Uh, some things that I collect, I incorporate into my work. I do love um, antiques from certain periods of time, um, late 1800s, early 20th century, mid-century, uh, and I have a lot of um, varied interests as far as like uh, aesthetic interests. I enjoy uh, collecting chairs, for example, chairs and lamps. So I have lamps from, from the 1800s and I have lamps from the 1970s, uh, the same with chairs. So it's hard to say what really, what I'm attracted to or why I would collect something. Uh, if you um, were to go up into my, what I call my nature lab, it's filled with all kinds of artifacts, um, stuffed birds, insects, rocks and minerals. Um, dead things in jars that the cats bring home. You know, those are some of the more macabre pieces, but, um, you know, they all sort of add to the whole mystique of what this place is, what this uh, museum is. It's, uh, it can be kind of macabre, but it's all tongue in cheek. It's all in fun. It's all meant to be funny and sarcastic. And, and you look at it and you're either amused or horrified. Well, the Hall of Hats is, uh, is one of my favorite aspects of the house because this is, uh, these are all little memories of all the many trips that I've been on around the world, um, all over Asia, um, Europe, Northern Africa, India. And um, so one of my favorite things is to collect a hat from these places in different cultures. So it's a whole um, concept in itself. Um, um, assembling all the hats into one sort of one area and um, and my crown being that I'm the king of Luna Park that is my crown that I made for myself which I wear at certain different occasions around uh, around the house inspiration for this room was to have a, a place to put all of my uh, artifacts and oddities and things that I collected in many many trips to Asia so my most favorite uh, uh, purchase, probably in my, my shopping career, uh, are these doors from China. And these were purchased at a salvage yard in Beijing, and then I had them shipped home. So these are really probably, I'd say one of my most favorite objects in the whole house. And it looks like a fortress, but uh, they're some of my most favorite things in the museum. Um, these doors I refer to as the great doors from China. 
basement, basically. Well, this I refer to as my music room. And as you can see, there's objects, uh, anything that will produce a sound or produce music, string in instruments in various stages of disrepair. Uh, I'd say most of them work, but there's also an aspect that I personally, I love, which is the aesthetic quality of the musical instrument as an object. So whether they're working or whether they're not working, um, this is where I put them. So this is a room that's very special to me. Um, I refer to it as my nature lab. And uh, being that I was heading into science as a career, uh, I've always retained that interest in science and I use um, science and natural um, objects as a lot of my inspiration, whether it be my, my jewelry work, ceramic work, uh, stained glass and things like that. So in here is uh, uh, some other, anything that from um, uh, skulls to um, nests to my friend's fallopian tubes that she just sent me. So uh, really uh, have to search because there's all kinds of funny, odd, bizarre oddities in this, in this room. So your friend sent you her fallopian tubes? My friend sent me her fallopian tubes recently and um, it was a whole story how she was able to get them out of the hospital. But when she had um, made the decision that these had to come out, the first thing she thought of was like, and she was sure, she said, these have to go to my friend Ricky's museum. So I feel honored. <laughs> I mean, I still have plenty of work here at Luna Park on the house and on the grounds, but I'm hoping to be able to sort of expand and go out into the world with this whole philosophy and assisting people in creating their own spaces and creating little environments or somehow altering their own space and their own environment. And that's always been a philosophy of mine is people come to visit and if someone comes to me and says that they visited Luna Park and they altered their environment, I mean, that's a huge compliment. And I say, mission accomplished.